Hello students, let us start our chapter land, soil, water, natural vegetation and wildlife. As you know we already done land, soil, water. So today we will do in this part natural vegetation and wildlife. This is our sixth module. natural vegetations if we see natural vegetations and wildlife then living things are of two types obviously first is the movable living things which can move from one place to another and second one which cannot move the movable things are like all the animals birds fishes etc they can move from one place to another and all the plants trees etc they cannot move from one to another place those living things which cannot move from one place to another places they are known as natural vegetation means tree and plants so first of all what is the importance of natural vegetation habitat of wildlife not only wildlife but also the habitat of many tribal communities the most importance of natural vegetation is that they are provide life on earth it is the natural vegetation which purify the air and gives us the most important gas that is oxygen industries get a lot of raw materials from forest all the forest based industries get their raw material from forest in the field of medical also we get a lot of herbs from forest factors in influencing plants and wildlife obviously why wildlife is here wherever the plants trees are there the we can count wildlife also because while these forests are the habitat of wildlife which type of trees are found there that type of wildlife is also found in those areas climate is one of the most important factor if the climate is rainy then obviously we found evergreen forest there but if the climate is too much extreme climate like extreme hot extreme cold then there is a lack of vegetation also so the climate directly affect that which type of forest are found in a particular place if we saying that which type of wildlife is found there then it depends on that which type of vegetation is found in a particular region that type of wildlife is found in those areas soil is also one of important factor if soil is fertile then it helps for the growingness of vegetations like the climate is totally suitable in the prairies and steppe areas not totally suitable somewhere but or we can take the examples of the pasture land also where climate is suitable but the soil is not suitable for forest they are suitable for grasses only if we come to the wind then wind also affect us that which type of wind is coming from which directions sometimes winds comes with humidity in them sometimes winds when come from particular direction deserts from desert sides they are totally dry it reaches the temperature also sometimes it because of the winds the temperature goes down also so winds is also a major factor relief that is topography which type of topography is found in a particular regions also affect the distributions of flora and fauna this is the slopey region plain region desert regions or a mountain regions so it also affect the growth of plants and obviously if plant then wildlife let us come to the next factor that is first we will take the tropical evergreen forest by name it is clear tropicals means here i'll write their qualities areas and important species in the green color now tropical means hot and 
humid and evergreen means which looks always green because of the heavy rainfall we can see broad leaves here because of this these types of forest are found in the amazon basin in south america zaire selvas malaysia vietnam indonesia myanmar etc the main species which are found here are gani ebony and rosewood rosewood etc mid latitude evergreen forest again this thing is clear by its name mid latitude means it is not hot and not cold moderate temperature is found here if we come the next thing is given evergreen means same thing heavy rainfall is there found so obviously these are found in the mid latitudinal areas of the world now come to the next one that is the mediterranean forest mediterranean forest by name it is clear and this is europe so the region which is this region a very small sea covered with europe asia and africa is known as mediterranean sea and here in all sides of this sea mediterranean types of forest are found let's see the quality of mediterranean forest winter is moderate rainfall and we found more than for winters while these summers are dry in these seasons plants are having very deep roots in these areas coastal areas of mediterranean seas where this for these types of forests are found the main main forests uh, plants which are found in this type of forest are cork olive cashew nuts etc now let us come to the next type of the forest by name it is clear coniferous forest as you can see by name it is coniferous means these types of forest are found where trees are found here these because these trees are found in the hilly areas so snowfall is there and they can slip through these types of structure and branches easily small growing season is there these trees are tall and conical in shape their leaves are very thick like needles as we can know the this type of temperatures are found in the polar areas so they are found in polar areas north and south pole plus hilly areas mountainous areas the main main trees are pine kedar fir at sectors are found they are very good in the economic point of view let us come to the next type of forest tropical deciduous by name again it is clear tropical deciduous forest tropical is the hot region deciduous means low rainfall is there in these regions and that is why the trees shade their leaves once in an in a year especially just before the 
summer season known as the autumn seasons they are found in the subtropical region of the world in india also they are found the maximum part of india are covered with these types of forest as i said these are found in the monsoon asia monsoon asia means south asia south east asia and east asia brazil north australia etc these types of trees are found trees are like teak sal shishams etc are the main trees which are part of forest the next type of forest which are found are the mid latitude this is for mid latitude means itself it is the moderate temperature is there means temperate type of climate is found there deciduous means those trees which shed their leaves one and one in a year because of the low rainfall is there they are found in the mid latitude regions of the world like west europe china japan usa northeast part of the usa new zealand south chile etc are the reasons where etc are the reason where these types of forest are found this is how we do the forest part that what is forest importance then we done the factors in fishing forest and plants their types these all types are forest types that's all in this sixth part of the chapter any kind of problem doubt you can visit my blog that is lipindogra blogspot dot I am. Thank you.